Hello everybody, this is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com Out here in the beautiful nature, once again, the spontaneous order that surrounds us all. So recently there were two hurricanes that occurred, one in Texas, Hurricane Harvey, and one in Florida, Hurricane Irma, that wreaked much destruction and havoc and mayhem. And what it brought to mind is that a lot of people tried to give specific items, tried to give maybe first aid kits, food, water, beds, whatever they could donate. And while that is good and that is helpful, it in a sense reminds me of the desire to give in countries that are considered third world or poor or in poverty, to give specific things like shoes, or in South America, when unions try to institute shorter working hours and longer sick day, more sick days, longer vacation days for less money. Or in Africa, when I think it's a toothpaste company, vows to give a pair of shoes for every container of toothpaste that's sold. And it brings to mind the idea that human beings are not mathematical equations. Human beings are not entirely predictable. We do not know what another human being values. And it is this reason why it is always preferable to give money or currency to those in need, whether they be in a third world country, whether they be in dire poverty, or whether they be victims of a natural disaster. When we attempt to predict and control what these people have or what they receive, we are playing the part of the control freak, of the authoritarian ruler, we are trying to impose our version of an optimal life onto them. And this is entirely wrong. We do not know what other people value. They may not value things that we value. Those people in Africa may not want your shoes. Those people in South America may not want shorter working hours, longer vacations, and more sick days in exchange for money. Did you ask them what they want? They want the money. Ask them. They want the money. They want the power to buy for themselves what they feel is necessary. Some people prefer to work more if it means more money. And for you to attempt to restrict their options, their freedom to work more, is you being immoral, is you imposing your worldview onto them, and then you become the enemy. You become what's wrong with the world. Allow people to choose for themselves what they deem valuable, what they feel they need. So I think that we must not be so presumptuous as to believe that we know what is best for other people. Most people do not even know what is best for themselves, let alone for other people. Most people are struggling in their own lives. Most people cannot even satisfy their own spouse, their own children. How can they possibly know what is best for their neighbor, for the person who lives in the other town, in the other state, or over an ocean away? We have no idea what they need. We have no idea what their life is like. And we must stop this meddling. We must stop presuming to know what other people need. Give them the freedom to live as they wish. Give them the freedom to buy whatever they wish. That is how you can help them. All people desire freedom to live as they wish. That is the beauty of a monetary system. That is why barter fails. The lack of coincidence of wants, the lack of coincidence of value, lack of coincidence of measurements. Money is much maligned these days by many people, especially on the left, socialists, Democrats. But money is not the problem. Money is merely a vehicle for bringing value to where it is needed. It is not the enemy. It is merely a tool that helps lubricate human interaction, that facilitates trade in the economy. Money is the savior of barbarism. Money has brought us out of the dark ages. We must understand where the true problem, where the true evil lies. And it is the idea of statism. The idea that we know 
what is best for other people. And this is the fundamental flaw. This is the error in reasoning. So the next time you see something that is asking for money for you so you can donate a specific item, perhaps you should talk to those individuals. Perhaps you should investigate those what those individuals actually need and perhaps give them that rather than a generic item of what you think they need. And that way you not only help them, but you also reduce waste and inefficiency. And for those green and eco-friendly people out there, that is the true waste of resources. That is the true insult to nature and scarce resources is waste and inefficiency. Stay humble and allow people to live in freedom. That is your greatest gift to them. Thank you very much for listening. This is Peaceful Anarchism. Enjoy the beautiful nature. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to donate and help me interview other fascinating people. You can do so through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash peaceful anarchism to help me out. A dollar a show is all I ask. If you feel so inclined to donate more, please feel free. It will only assist me in spreading the message of freedom and volunteerism that much farther and that much more efficiently. You can also donate to my Bitcoin. My Bitcoin address is in the description to my videos as well as on my website, peacefulanarchism.com. And while you're on my site, there's a donate button to donate through PayPal. If you prefer to donate through PayPal, you can do so with that. But Patreon is a little bit easier for content creators as you can set up a recurring donation if you so desire. Also, while you're on my website, peacefulanarchism.com, please feel free to sign up, enter your email address, sign up for my newsletter, and you will receive updates every time I post something, a video or an interview. I do not send out any spam. Or you can also follow me on Facebook under facebook.com slash peaceful anarchism or facebook.com slash Danilo Cuellar 3, I believe. Danilo Cuellar 3. So either, either one of those methods, if you are able to donate, I would be most appreciative. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a magnificent day.